Here's a cool little hamstring uh, routine I've been doing for 30 years. Uh, it's a pin and stretch. A lot of you guys have been doing pin and stretch. This is a novel way to do this technique. It's actually more of a routine. I'm going to bring Aaron's knee to 90 degrees and I'm going to take a flat fist. Make sure it's not a wadded up fist, a flat fist. And I'm just going to lean my body weight anywhere into the posterior thigh because you're on hamstrings there. And I'm going to allow the leg to drop. The angle of drive is important. You've got to come toward the table and then a little headward. In other words, you're trying to hook something and then you lean that body weight in. The biggest mistake I see in practice, uh, people do not keep their pin hand steady. They've got to let the weight drop through that left hand and then this can just drop. Now it's not going to look like that when I get going because I'm actually going to crank it down, crank it down but I'm not really pulling it down as much as I'm allowing gravity to pull it down, but I'm mainly focusing on this left hand. All the way up to issue two velocity, why? All those hamstrings are fighting for a place along the bony margins of the issue two velocity. So you gotta get up there and weed that stuff out. Excellent way to do it. Just go anywhere along the hamstrings you want, laterally over the biceps femoris, membranosus, tendinosus, don't forget about adductor magnus. Is that a hamstring? Ooh, who knows? It's innervated by the sciatic nerve. We don't know whether it's a hamstring. It does both. It can be a hamstring. Okay, so as soon as you get a feel for that, maybe you don't like using fists. How about trying to fit a, a flat palm? That works. Works just fine. Nice broad surface, just don't hurt your own body. Actually, my favorite way of doing it is behind the back, like this. Because I can really get some force in here. All the way, particularly for ischial tuberosity. But you can do it this way too. All right, so that's pinning them and pulling them in the longitudinal direction. That ain't going to cut it. You got to do something else. You got to go across the fibers too. Make those fascial bags roll on one another. Make all of the similar membranosus, tendinosus, biceps, morse roll around on one another. Get your body weight in kind of a lunge stance so you're comfortable. You're doing this kind of thing. Take your palm of your hand and you're pushing the tissue away from you, right? Now, it's this motion, your whole body. And lean the crap into it. Really get in there. It's a little more tender at the knee, but get down to the knee, that popliteal fossa. You really feel like you're getting some separation and hydrating, pulling in some of that hyaluronic acid to mobilize those fascial layers. Okay, the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to set it down, bring Aaron's knee to 90, pull it toward the midline. Grasp the foot. Okay, so this is a, this time we're going to be pushing the tissue away. You're not going to get as much movement in here, but the movement you get is really, really important because you're really pushing that bicep morse away from the IT band. So here we go. Body weight low, center of gravity low, get your posture up, and then just twist your body. Don't work too hard. Any pace. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you go on this. All the way down to the knee. He's got really nice uh, movement in this direction. You won't see this on a lot of your athletes. They'll be able up to here and that'll be it. They can't come down here. 